Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I used to think that my worship was only through singing. Um, one of the things that I love most about nature is how it reminds me of the different seasons of our faith that we go through. Sometimes we're in a dry season where um, it's really hard to feel God at all, or sometimes we're in a season of plenty where we can see God in every day. No matter what seasons we're in, there's always this promise of a new season. Um, we know that winter won't last all year, even though sometimes it feels like it. Um, in the same way, we know that if we continue to seek God, that he will give us a new season of faith too. So last summer, I was hired to lead music for one of the student ministries, and worship literally became my job. So little by little, I could tell that I was just becoming callous to the words that I was singing, and it became more important for me to lead others in worship before I could lead myself in worship. And I realized that before I can do either of those things that I just need to come into the presence of God. So I would bike out to George with and just sit by the water or in the grass and creation became this place that I could just kind of escape all distractions and just sit in the quietness. Even in the Bible we see um, that Jesus who was perfect um, needed to go off by himself lead his disciples to get away from the crowd and from all the noise and just hear his father's voice. Um, being out there just, it restored my soul, like it says in Psalm 23. Um, being in creation just reminded me of how big God is and how small I am, but um, being in the quiet and just hearing his voice, it showed me more of who God was and the more that I know God, the more that I just can't help but worship him. I think a lot of times we just go through the motions and for me, you know, singing, singing the words to a song but not actually meaning it with all of my heart and we become so busy just trying to serve God that our hearts aren't all in it, it just becomes hollow worship. I think that God calls us to give our voices and our money and our time to serve Him but I think that first we're just called to, to know Him and sometimes that means just escaping from everything we think that we're supposed to be doing and um, just know him, just stop and listen and hear his voice.